of Morning Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Witch Watch chapter 27. So before I get to this recap and live reaction, just a reminder to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help um, keep this channel alive and kicking, please feel free to hit the um, Cash App and uh, PayPal, which the links for those are in the description box below. So last chapter, um, Nico and Khan went to the park to deal with the, um, with the dogs and, oh God, it was, it was a lot easier than, um, I think we all thought it was going to be. And the enchanter herself was, was very tiny, <laughs> but now, um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen now because Moy still has to deal with, um, with the werewolf and what about Nemu? She's passed out, but anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Ayako uh, Makinose, she wasn't particularly smart or social, but she wanted to be someone. Um, let's see. And this chapter is titled Dogs and Raindrops Part 6. Ayako was born into a strict family and spent her school years immersed in study. Looking down on others who indulged in youthful games, she was at the top of her class. After, um, after graduating, her family decided to marry her off. Having doubts about her life for the first time, she left her family to live on her own. It was then she, that she discovered she had a special power. It was, ooh, so this is, this is the enchanter that this girl is. All right. It was a minor ability to levitate objects a few inches without touching them. Scouring what records she could find, she concluded that her family tree had witch blood. Ooh, but she was the only one in whom that blood had awakened. Ooh, interesting. It's kind of like with what happened with Yusuke and Yu Yu Hakusho. I am a chosen one that, uh, that, Thought became an important source of solace for the lonely Ayako. It also fostered a sense of contempt for the people around her. Unfortunately, that power had little use and did nothing to bring her happiness. She used it mostly for shoplifting because of her poverty. Um, racked by powerlessness and an inflated ego, she hated others' happiness. Though her power was minus minuscule, she st uh, she'd still become a warlock. Near the end of her natural life, a certain person found her. Let me awaken the power sleeping within you. Who are you? There will be a price, of course, but bringing out your true magic ought to extend your life for a time. Die in um, ignominious poverty or take your power and become one of us. Choose. I have no idea who, who you are, but I'll take it. I refuse to die like this. Give me the power that should have been mine. And so I agreed to pay the price of awakening my magic. And... And wound up like this. Talk about, oh my God. Talk about a steep price. Do you guys think that would, that would be worth it? Would you guys have taken that agreement? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about that. And, um, and also that warlock we, we saw. That's got to be the warlock that's after Nico. It has to be. We, let's be real. We knew this enchanter wasn't the real one that was after Nico. Nah. Um, think about, um, things like risk versus reward before accepting fishy deals from strangers, okay? I didn't expect it to shrink me. You didn't even know what was going to happen. You really shouldn't do that. At least ask what the terms were before making bi binding packs. Still, what a shocker. I wasn't expecting someone to, the size of a gotcha toy. <laughs> a gotcha toy. Mm, she looks like a little caterpillar all tied up like that. And her magic pot is as tiny as a cold bottle. Enough si silence, both of you brats. I was going to get my original body back as soon as our plan reached fruition. There we go. That's what we want to hear about. What the heck is, the, is um, this plan, huh? You're just helping a bigger group, right? Who's backing you? Ho, ho, ho. I'm not so kind that I would tell you that. Uh, hello? Think about the position you're dangling in right now. Literally. Um... I could break you between my two littlest fingers. Literally. Nico, Kanshi. Oh, Nemo, you made it. Oh, all right. Nemo's, Nemo's, ba uh, Nemo's back now. Um, where are the dogs? It's all right. The spell on them broke and they all went home. 
then this gotcha toy size caterpillar like old lady must um then this gotcha toy size caterpillar like old lady must be the enchanter don't call me that uh what you knew what she looked like already yes i got in a glance and was rushing to come tell you when i got uh when i got put into um into a slumber still i'm glad both of you are safe wait where's morihito we don't know he disappeared on the way here our friend kago vanished with him along with a friend i see this kago person is your familiar then um and a and a werewolf what familiar werewolf yes i suspect kago and will and wolf are the same person and it's likely he's battling more heat on this very moment enchanter take us to them now Ooh, now we're getting back to to the good stuff here but Ooh, this this is now going to be very interesting. What happened again? I said this last. I think I said this last week, or maybe even a couple weeks ago. What's going to happen with Keiko? I really hope that Keiko becomes Namu's familiar. I do. She deserves him. Ooh. Whew. Fists for pummeling, claws for slashing, and nearly animal-like quickness. It was as if he was born to fight. Oh, no shit, he's a werewolf. I thought all werewolf lineages had died out. Couldn't tell you. Both my mother and uh, my dead father are normal humans. Um, maybe I'm a throwback or something. Well, that explains a lot why he's the Enchanter's familiar. I only manifested three years ago. I'm still a little baby, so go easy, on, go easy on me, Kay. Keiko uh, said you're a different, um, you're a different person, but I see you still have his memories. Are the two of you connected mentally in some fashion? How? He's day, I'm night. As his night side, I remember everything he does, but he doesn't know what I do. He was the one who signed, assigned the familiar's pact, but I've been the one carrying out the plan. If I've got um, anything to say to him, I leave him um, leave him a note on her phone. That's how I gave him the order. It's kind of like your name, um, in a way. Uh Ah, that's why you suddenly started talking to me so much. You said you have um, all of your day side's memories, correct? Then tell me. Why did it feel, what did it feel like to deceive me? Ooh. Were you laughing at me on the inside? Good question. I'm aware that I'm antisocial. According to Nico, I, I don't seem interested in other people, making me difficult to approach. She isn't wrong. I've never gone out of um, my way to make friends. So I was pretty happy, you know, that we got to be, fr that, you know, that we got to be friends. Poor boy. I feel so bad for him. Shut up. Not only that, um, I uh, didn't think I know, um, uh, don't think I didn't notice that afternoon. Um, it, it feels like I have friends, I guess. Um, I saw tears in your eyes when you said that. I don't remember that, liar. You must have realized by now, you can't beat me one-on-one. -on -one. So you successfully split me off, so, um, so you've, uh, as good, oh my god. So you successfully split me off, so you've as good as one? Even the big bad, uh, wolf was smarter than that. Ooh. Quit fronting. I've eaten the crap out of you already. Now to finish you off, huh? Ooh. Just in time. Slime lotion gel amoeba. Oh my god, slime jo lotion gel amoebas. I see you never planned on your warlock getting defeated. Ogre Kigong, lightning burst. Ooh. Yes, you're my match one on one. You're not better, though. I'll never admit that, but. I have friends. This is, oh, oh my god, this is cheesy. This is over. Damn it. Nico, boy, I'm sorry. I think I might have used up all my magic. I'm going to need a minute to recover. But god damn it. That was so fucking cheesy. And that was kind of mean. Um, now we're both short on magical backup. Weren't you getting strength from the drops? Hell no, I don't need drugs. It's just you and me now. Let's finish this. Ooh. Well, no, boy, why would you say that that this that wolf would need would need drugs? Why? He's a fucking werewolf, you dumbass. Seriously. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wolf, were you? Oh my god. If wolf was. Oh no, Wolf did take a drop. Wolf, why were you taking drops? That's stupid. You're a werewolf. You don't need that shit. You're a goddamn werewolf. You have enough strength on your own, you stupid dumbass. Oh, I don't get it. 
I don't understand, but whatever. But I th the thing that I found very interesting about this chapter was the um, commonality that uh, the Enchanter and Wolf have. That both of them did not get, you know, their powers until later. It wasn't um, they, and that their, um, their parents didn't have it. They, they weren't werewolves or, um, or witches. It's very, very interesting. Um, so, it may, oh God. But in the case of, um, of the Enchanter, I feel really bad for the Enchanter. But damn, Enchanter, that was stupid. I understand to an extent what the Enchanter did, but, or why the Enchanter did it, but god damn. But again, as I said earlier, what about the warlock that did this for the Enchanter? I think that warlock has something, looking at the bigger picture, we're going to be facing that warlock. Damn straight, we're going to be facing that warlock. And I think that warlock has to either be endgame or, um, or close to endgame. Um, and if that warlock is endgame, we're going to be seeing more um, warlocks affected by them. Kind of similar um, to, uh, oh my god, what's the series that we've seen? Oh, kind of similar to what we've seen in, um, in Bungo Stray Dogs in particular. Well, Bungo Stray Dogs is one of them, but those are uncontrollable vampires with, with, um, with Bungo Stray Dogs. But, oh, God, what is the series that I am thinking of? Oh, my God. It is going to drive me nuts if I do not mention it. Oh. It's kind of like with Sade in um, the uh, the Duke of uh, Death and His Black Maid. Because what Sade did was she placed curses on um, on different people. On, um, on the Duke and um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but she placed curses on them. And of course she's dead now and they're stuck with these curses, but now they're going back in time to meet up with Sade and get their curses removed. That's what this is kind of really makes me think of. <laughs> I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, if anyone, uh, if anyone else is reading uh, the Duke of um, death and his black maid, um, if you guys are getting that similar vibe going on, um, there's another series I was thinking of, but I can't think of it off the top of my head where it reminds me of, well, you can make the argument that it's kind of like a comic I kill in a way, but anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive. Um, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, post or something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.